Balloons are awesome. They can be used at birthday parties and when they are made super big, people can fly with them over big cities to take Instagram pictures. But they can also be deadly bombs. This is the story of the Japanese vengeance bombs and how geologists uncovered the mystery. In November 1944, during the Second World War, the Empire of Japan sent mysterious balloons in the air which had been fabricated by miners in factories. The researchers had many months prior noticed while mapping out the wind currents that a strong air current traveled across the Pacific at about 9 km. The idea was to have these devices float over the forested regions of the Pacific Northwest and initiate large forest fires that would hopefully divert US manpower. The balloons were crafted from mulberry paper, glued together with potato flour and filled with expansive hydrogen. They were 10 meter in diameter and could lift approximately 450 kg, but the deadly portion of their cargo was a 15 kg anti-personal fragmentation bomb attached to a 90 meter long fuse that was intended to burn for about 82 minutes before detonation. That's really precise. The Japanese programmed the balloons to release hydrogen if they ascended to over 12 kilometers and to drop pairs of sand-filled ballast bags if the balloon dropped below 9 km. With the easterly wintertime jet stream winds, they were transported above 9 km to float 8,000 km across the North Pacific to the destination. America. Experts estimate it took between 30 and 60 hours for a balloon bomb to reach North America's west coast. The first balloons were launched on November 3, 1944 and began landing in the United States on November 5th of San Pedro, California and by the following day, November 6th, they were landing as far away as Thermopolis, Wyoming. 285 confirmed landings and sightings were made over a wide area from Canada across as far south as Nogales, Arizona. Most of the ballast bags were released in the trip across the North Pacific, but a few balloons crashed without exploding and some of the ballast bags were recovered. All of the bags contained the same type of dark colored sand. On March 5th, 1945, a minister's wife and five Sunday school students on a fishing trip were killed by one of the grounded balloons near Bly, Oregon, while attempting to pull it through the forest back to the camp. On June 24, 1942, the Military Geological Unit of the U.S. Geological Survey was formalized after the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers requested them to prepare terrain intelligence studies to meet wartime priorities. The unit produced 314 studies, including 140 major terrain folios and 141 minor studies. When the balloons made landfall, there were no obvious clues as to where they originated. But forensic geology, then in its infancy, was able to pinpoint Japan as the point of launch. We got him. It was immediately clear that the sand must have come from a beach. But from where? Further examination revealed that the sand was devoid of any coral but contained small mollusk fragments. They also found foraminifera, tiny skeletons of microscopic organisms that feed on the ocean bottom. Some of the forearm species identified had only been previously described in Japanese geological papers dealing with beaches north of Tokyo on the eastern shore of Honshu. The individual sand grains were found to be of granitic origin but with an unusual set of trace or associated minerals. 52% of those trace minerals were were hypersteen, a heavy mineral. Another mineral called augite was also found in abundance but was known to be of volcanic origin. Two other heavy minerals, hornblende and garnet, were varieties thought to be associated with metamorphic source rocks. They determined that the sand samples likely came from either of two locations, a northerly site along the Great Beach at Shiogama, close to Sentai, Japan, and or the 99 League Beach at Ichi no Miya, Japan. The work of the MGU conclusively identified northeastern coastal Japan as a source area for the sand ballast and the likely point of launching. Once these locations were revealed, detailed photo reconnaissance were made in early 1945 and the photo interpreters succeeded in identifying two of the three plants producing hydrogen for the project in vicinity of Ichi no Miya. These plants were conclusively destroyed by American B-29 bombers based in the Marianas Island in April 1945, putting an end to the Vengeance Bomb project. Forensic geology became a permanent part of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and continues to help to solve difficult mysteries to the present. Hey! 
Man, geology rocks. Do you get it? Yeah, geology rocks. That's the reason why Geosophy's hot, like it's igneous. Stories about the earth in the billions. Things up on the planet, like the granite, not the granite in your kitchen. Is. You love science, play on. You know we gotta stay on. Take a dive, cause you know we get in line. Watch us thrive, cause you know that we the winners, no, we not poor. So come subscribe and you'll be a real rock star.